Hi guys. Uh, yeah, just I wanted to see um, Doctor Strange Two in the Multiverse of Madness uh, recently. Just just got back actually. Just had a bit of food there and um, just try and um, just give my give give a few thoughts on it. Um, uh, I, I will be spoiling things, so definitely um, if you haven't seen the movie yet, definitely go and see the movie. Um, uh, like don't don't watch this video. Um, um, yeah, really excited. Was really excited going into this to this movie. I was really really excited about it. I watched most of the trailers, most of the trailers, but I didn't didn't watch. Um, I think there was like two or three. I think there was like one more main trailer, maybe a TV spot or something. I didn't watch them, but um, yeah, I, I, I was. It was, it was a lot of hype for um since um I really enjoyed Spider Man No Way Home like and um really really excited about it. I really enjoyed One Division and so I was really excited to see Elizabeth Ol Olsen back and uh, so I was really excited and obviously the hype of seeing like who's going to be in it and what's going to happen is there, is it going to have any crazy um cameos and stuff and it, it sort of did but it was it, it was very well done and I'll, I'll go into I'll go into it here like. Again, this this video will have have spoilers, so um, definitely um, be, be wary of that. Like, um, so I've, I've made I've made some notes. Um, I made some notes. Um, Elizabeth, awesome again. It was like oh, awesome, awesome here. Like, um, I, I love her. Performances as as Scott Scott Witch, um, and she was great here. She she was she was she, she was a a villain. She was a villain a villain here. She was the main villain main villain, and uh, she was awesome. She looked incredible, like um, the outfit, the superhero outfit, like, and her hair and makeup. It just had this really cool sort of like purple sort of look to it, and the magic like. Was like top notch. The visual effects are like top notch, um, and like seeing her flying around and like fighting. The fight scenes are really really cool. Like um, Benedict Cumberbatch as uh, Doctor Strange. He's great. He's really great. I've I've really liked him in in. Um, I really liked him in Spider Man No Way Home. Um, um, I thought he came across as really, really likable in that, and really great character, great actor. Like, um, I t t Wong was great. Wong, this sorcerer supreme, he was great. He had really great moments in this. Like, played by Bened Benedict uh, Wong. Um, he he had really, really cool moments in it. Like, um, the Sam Raimi feel was definitely there. Like. Um, uh, just know that the, the, my image behind me is is a um, it's a it's a fan made fan made poster. Uh, I, I was tr trying to look it up who it was, but um, I, I might put it in the description maybe. But it, but, it, but it's a, fa a fan made poster. I thought it was really cool. It's one that's got a, it's a, have an image in the background. Um, America Chavez, played by this. This is really I find this name very hard to pronounce. And I'm gonna butcher it, but um, it could be Cocktail Gomez, uh, but she she was great. She was great in this. Like, um, she had real emotion and really cool effects. Like of her, like punching through different uh, the different multiverses. Just awesome effects. Like, um, I'm trying to think. Um, the start of the movie is sort of like an epic, um, epic scene where she, American Chavez, is with um, Doctor Strange, Benedict Cumberbatch, and they're in a sort of another universe, and they're sort of being chased by a demon that's trying to get, he's trying to get America Chavez's power of being able to try, be able to traverse uh, dimensions or multiverses because Wanda wants the Scarlet Witch wants her power because she wants to 
be with her kids um, from from one division and and um, I thought it was uh, really good, really, really compelling. Um, that's that's what made her an interesting, interesting villain because they have this monster that revealed itself as Shumagora trying to trying to capture uh, Mary Chavez and then Doctor Strange sort of goes goes to Wanda and says we need your help but it turns out that she was behind it, behind the creature and, and she, during this orchard, we've seen that from the trailer, she's in this amazing orchard and she's like, she, she's cutting like, she, she's doing trimming or, or um, pruning and um, we thought it was like she's pruning like actual multiverse timelines and stuff like that. I thought that was really cool as well. It wasn't it wasn't as as deep as that but um it was a facade and then she sort of she's talking to Doctor Strange and she says um this is what I want. I want I want to get back to my kids and this is where Doctor Strange says that's that would be a villain thing to do. That that that, that would make you a bad person and the facade sort of fades away and it's all red. It's got this really cool it looked like this epic sort of landscape, sort of evil landscapes, um, reminding me of something from Dark Souls or something from Elden Ring, you know, or Doom even, you know, with the red sky and it's like this massive sunset and like all the trees that were there, all, 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 all beautiful and that, or all these sort of gnarled things, and she's revealed to be the Scarlet Witch, and she says, um, "I'm gonna, I'm gonna get that girl. I'm gonna take, take that girl, and get her to help me." And Doctor Strange is saying, "No, you can't. You can't do that. We're we're going to defend ourselves against you." And 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 and, and Elizabeth Olsen's like, "You know, I'm being reasonable now. If you if you don't help me, I I will I will attack you." And this is awesome fight scene where they're in this temple. This Ben Ben the Cumberbatch is in this sort of wizard temple, and like he's all these other students and helpers trying to help him defend against. Uh, Wanda, like it's just awesome shots of like her shooting down fire and like and then defending it and then uh, he sort of I can't remember he, he seals it away or something in this sort of thing it looks like a, a series of mirrors and she kind of breaks through the mirror and it's like water and then oh god it's it's so it's so cool like. Um, sorry, I'm losing my train of thought. Like, I, 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 I'll get into what, what really excited me was seeing Haley Atwell back as Captain Carter. This is this is what I thought was really cool. So she's one of the Illuminati. When so Doctor Strange and America Chavez. They escape Wanda because she creates a, a break in, in the dimension and, and she goes into another dimension and they're sort of falling through all these different dimensions. A bit like Spider-Man No Way Home I had this really cool like sequence of um, different realities. One was a cartoon but, but it's so fast, it's only a couple of seconds in each one. I'm sure there's tons of like Easter eggs and stuff and um, they end up in this world that's really futuristic and it's full of greenery and, and what's what's cool is that like um, the Bruce guy from the Evil Dead he's there he's like a he's like a um, that's the other cameo like um, when they escape wander from the temple with America, Doctor Strange and America Chavez they end up in this sort of futuristic other other reality version of like the city where they live where the, where the sanctum is and Bruce Campbell is sort of this um, uh, food seller, food seller on, on, on the street and America Chavez says in this world we don't have to pay for food or whatever and she picks up these sort of um, pizza balls, they look like uh, pe pepperoni pizza but they're like spheres, you know, it's kind of kind of quirky like, you know, you know another, another example is like they, they, they want to cross the street but they have to wait 
so the pedestrians like to go red, you know, instead of green, you know, kind of stuff like that. Like, but there's tons of greenery. It's really beautiful, like other other um, universe. Really beautiful. Really. Oh my god. Uh, you know, the technology, the special effects that we have today. The, um, you know, again, this movie just it's top notch. Um, but again, uh, he sort of says, "Hey, you have to pay for that," you know. And she goes, oh, she has to pay for that, you know, and then he talks straight, <laughs> or has this one-to-one, -one, like, you know, what are you saying, yeah, to this Bruce, you know, and he's like, um, he goes to spray um, mustard in his face, but Dr. Strange makes a spell, and he sort of turns his hands on him, he starts spraying the um, the mustard in his own face, and starts hitting him, starts, starts punching him, like, uh, punching himself, like, you know, it's a hilarious moment, like, uh, everyone in the audience were, 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 were like, <laughs> laughing over this, and, like, Doctor Strange is like, oh, that'll wear off in, like, uh, two weeks or something crazy, like, like that, anyway. But then, they go by this memory lane sort of building that's like, you know, relive your memory lane, relive your memories. Um, uh, so they both watch footage from their past, and this is where America Chavez is revealed that her parents, um, she can't control her power and she doesn't understand truly what her power is. And this is her, her first in inclination of using the dimension, um, the first time she opens a dimension and she was with her parents. And her parents, um, they're two women and they're looking after her and they're in a garden, beautiful garden again. And then, America Chavez realizes that every time she's scared, she has, she, this power is unleashed, and and this this crack in the dimension, this star opens up, and her parents get sucked through it. So that's her experience of the loss of her parents, the loss of someone someone she loved, and, and she's trying to find them. I, I believe. Um, again, I'm, I'm going to I'm going to see this tomorrow night, so, so I want to. Um, I might pick up on new stuff that I haven't seen in uh, the first, my first watching today. Oh my god, excuse me, hello. Uh, yeah, when they're in this new, 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 new uh, futuristic world, they, they go to the Doctor Strange, go, wants to visit the St. Doran's, the, his house, where he is home. <laughs> and, uh, there's a massive statue of him. Because he's a hero in this in this universe, uh, he you know he beat beat Thanos. And there's a statue, but um, when he goes to his his building, like um, it's Mordo, is it M Mordo? It's 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 the guy. Um, instead, and Doctor Strange is kind of saying, "Oh, I have bad history with him. He tried to kill me or something." But so anyway, this is all friendly, and he invites them in, and he's like. He's like making making them tea, um, but he, but he puts he puts drug into their tea and and uh, he knocks them out. And um, because it turns out that um, Doctor Strange himself is seen as a threat, is seen as dangerous, and uh, this is where he's sent. He, he's sent to this facility where they're sort of in these cubes. With him and American Chavez would have to be testing done them and stuff for that to understand because they're from another in their dimension. They, they they deem them as dangerous and um this is where uh Rachel McAdams character is seen as a um one of the scientists and, and this is interaction of um because because going back, Doctor Strange had to um he went to a wedding where she was marrying another man and he sort of down on his luck because of that, because there's a bit of, um, there's a bit of love there. He's feelings for her, you know, and um, anyway, he's summoned to the Illuminati. And Illuminati is is the real cool bit because that's where um, that's where uh, he Atwell as Captain Carter is. I thought it was awesome, awesome scene in the new suit as you know, as Captain Carter, oh, awesome with the shield and the unit. Oh my god. She's she's awesome. Um, I was watching Agent Carter on Disney Plus. So I was really enjoying it. Like, so it was great seeing her. Like, um, 
because there was inklings that we'd be, but the, she might be in it, but she might be the cartoon version, like in a cartoon universe. That's not the case. It was a real live action version, and um, he had. Um, Another thing was John Krasinski shows up as Reed Richards. That was the other one. That was Captain Marvel, but it was the um, another actress, you know, uh, another actress playing her um, coloured actress, and uh, I forget her name. Like she was really cool though. She was awesome. The suit was awesome again, and then um, had this other character. I'm not really familiar with him. He was like a sound character. He had like a tuning thing going on, um, not too familiar with that character. And then finally, excuse me, Pro uh, Patrick Stewart is Professor X, you know, you know, which is telling the truth, you know, and he sort of rolls out and he explains that in this reality, Doctor Strange was deemed a threat and they had to take him out, they had to kill him. Um, the sound wave guy killed him. Uh, his, his audio, he could, um, he should have incinerated him with, with audio, but um, but Doctor Strange is sort of saying, well, Wanda is 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 a major threat, and she wants American Chavez's power, um, so she can travel through universes to find her kids. But in taking her, American Chavez's power, she's going to kill kill her, uh, so that's why she's the, the villain. But um, um. Anyway, he stands trial and they're saying, um, oh, you're deemed dangerous. But then Wanda attacks and it's an awesome sequence and like, um, the other people have to go off to, to fight Wanda and, uh, and then um, he's left with Morto and Professor X, and Professor X sort of says, I trust you. I think you're doing the right things. We let you go. We need we need you to to, to defend ourselves, to help defend ourselves against Wanda, and this book that's stored here, this this um, dangerous book, like a, a, maybe maybe it's like a good version of Darkhold. I'll show you. We'll bring you to it. Maybe we need your help after all. And then um, Mortos, he has a fight with Morto. And it's an awesome fight actually. And then. Um, Wanda sort of fighting the Illuminati like Captain Marvel and Captain Karen. That's an awesome see awesome sequence. Um again the the Raimi touches that um Wanda or or um you know Wanda is elsewhere in this temple with Wong and she's using her magic to control another version of herself in another universe. Um that's hard to um Another version of Wanda, who is, um, she's attacking this base, this where the Illuminati are, and like she's covered in blood, she's killed tons of um, uh, like these mech droids and stuff, and it has uh, just really cool, really cool, and she sort of strings Reed Richards apart, she turns him into like confetti or whatever, and then like. She fights Captain Carter, and oh, it's just awesome. And like, she, she kills Captain Carter though with her own shield. She, the shield goes right through her, right through her stomach, cuts her in half. Like, um, it's absolutely sad. But um, again, the fight scenes are sort of impactful. And then like, um, but uh, and then Captain Marvel. Um, they sort of have a big laser sort of fire, um, laser battle, like magic, like battle, and um, but Wanda takes her out, sort of incinerates her, and um, but Professor X shows up and says, "Stop!" You know, and it's this awesome moment of like the two, the two actors kind of zoom in to to her eye, both their eyes, and they're in this other universe, other place, a bit like the Matrix in a sort of white world. With, with like a random door and he opens the door. It's a really cool moment. I'm not, I'm not explaining it or selling it probably enough, but um, oh, because Professor X can see Wanda, good Wanda, and she's like needs help. And she's under rubble, and it's got the TV screen, and it's like the Wanda Vision where they're married. Wanda's with Vision, and they're they're both like just married, you know, and it's black and white, and he's trying to pull her out from the rubble, but. He 
can't. And um, the smoke, this red smoke of Wanda, Scarlet Witch kind of arriving, and he kill, she kills Professor X, and then and then she goes. To, while this is going on, Doctor Strange and American Chavez and Rachel escape down this tunnel to where they want to find the book, and um, it's awesome. Like we're down this really industrial kind of tunnel and these sort of um, barrier doors are closing but one is like just bang, just smashing right through them like um, and then they get, they open this final door and in there is another crazy looking universe where the book is and he needs to get the book and then um, the help against Wanda um, But, but but dark Doctor Strange is in it, and um, <laughs> Doctor Strange wants to visit him for help. Doctor Strange has been having these sort of dreams where he he dreams about Mary Chavez, so that that's that's a the connection there. Once she enters into his universe, she's she's been chased by this creature, Shri McGorick, and, and so that Doctor Strange has to help defeat Doctor. St Tumor Gord is this awesome, awesome scene again. Like the visual effects are just like top notch. Um, and she explains that like she's being pursued by this creature who's actually really controlled by the Scarlet Witch. Again, because she wants she wants her, she wants her power. Um, but the Scarlet Scarlet Witch one kind of explains to her that um the dark hold originated in this mountain called Windigo or something. So they go there and this is like a snowy um, temple. And when they're there it's sort of revealed that it's her her throne throne or you know, it's an artwork of the art which is on the wall like like a statue for her and um and these these monsters uh, are there like it has that jump scary sort of thing going on as well. There's a little bit that bit of that in it as well. Like uh, moments are like whoa, you know, but, uh, like when one when Scarlet Witch is sort of trying to access another version of her in another universe where she has kids. Um, this is an awesome moment of of like. Um, I'm not sure if we co covered it because 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 the video sort of cut out, but. Um, you know the lights go all crazy and like, you know, Wanda's there kind of going, oh my god, something, something crazy is happening. It's a really cool effects. Like there's like a storm in a teacup and like the lights are going out and like she looks outside. It's the daylight outside, but she sees her own reflection. Her own reflection is like the Scarlet Witch with the crown and all that. And she kind of looks. Oh god, it's really cool. And and actually, she she looks directly at the camera. She breaks the fourth wall. She looks directly at the camera. It's really cool. Like, and um, that was awesome. That's really cool. And like, there's a photograph of herself, and she's looking at it. And actually, the head turns around, or like, the photograph of her turns and has this sort of great. Oh. But Doctor Strange, um, when Amer when America Chavez and Doctor Strange in the very first scene. Mark Chavez breaks, escapes this this demon thing, but the Doctor Strange in that universe dies, and um, his body ends up with in the current universe where Doctor Strange is, and so he sort of buries him. And um, you know, Mark Chavez is, is explaining like this is real, this is only real. This this book exists elsewhere. The Dark Hall exists elsewhere. This magic. Exists in another universe, and um, what happens is Doctor Strange reads the Dark Hold and uses a magic that's sort of forbidden, but to to control or take control of the Doctor Strange to par perished, and he becomes a sort of zombified guy, and he he sort of he sends him off to Windigor to fight. Or try and stop the Scarlet Witch, because she has 
American child that she, she, she finally got her and she's trying to get her magic. And uh, Wong's there as well. Wong's really cool, really cool. He, he's loads of fight scenes in it, like um, tons of really cool action. Um, again, it was awesome seeing Captain Carter. It was awesome seeing John Krasinski as Reed Richards. Um, awesome seeing um, Captain Marvel again. Patrick Stewart again as Professor X, like, um, and. Um, the girl uh, who played Mary Chavez, she, I think she did a great job. Like, um, and obviously the kids, Billy and Tommy, um, they're 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 really cool. It's a really cool scene at the end where, you know, this zombified version of Doctor Strange goes to fight himself, and like, um, it's a really really cool, really cool shot of that really cool scenes of that, but then Merrick Javs right at the end <coughs> breaks free and takes on WandaVision herself and she's, or Wanda herself and she's sort of smacking her in the face and creating these other realities of like <coughs> she just smashes her through into this into the world where where Wanda is with her kids, the good good version of Wanda and the kids sort of turn on Scarlet Witch and she's like go away, they're all scared of her you know and, I, and that was really cool, like because she really wanted her kids, but then she, her kids were there, and like it sort of turned on her, like get away from us, we, you know. And that was that was really emotional. That that really broke uh, Scarlet Witch there, and she sort of on her knees and crying, and and like one that goes over and sort of takes pity on her and to, to sort of hold her holding her face. And that was a really, really touching moment, really cool moment. Like, um, so these are just my quick thoughts. I, I, I'm sure I've missed loads and I've butchered it to hell and back probably, but um, definitely go out and definitely, definitely, I reckon definitely check check it out. Definitely check out the film. Um, really enjoyed Sp Spider Man, Spider Man No Way Home. Really enjoyed, really enjoyed this. I, I just, um, thought it was great and like, so hopefully, hopefully you enjoyed, enjoyed the video. Hopefully I wasn't rambling too much, but um, yeah, these, just, these, these are just my thoughts. Um, let me know if you saw the film. Let me know if you're going to see it or any other films. Um, I want to check out the Northman actually as well. Like, but um, thanks very much for watching, and um, drop me a rain, and I'll catch you in the next one. See you then. Bye.